Hi guys, Tony here, and um, today I'm doing a quick review on how to use the Saw Thumb plugin. And if you're wondering what that is, well, I'm sure you're noticing this here. Um, it does exactly that. So um, I'm going to take you inside another new blog, rated by Tony, and show you exactly how it's working. Now, um, you install it just as you would any other plugin. Uh, once you install it, you get this um, little tab. That alters site wide function, but we'll talk about that later. Um, uh, let's close this. And I'll show you how and what we have so far and how we've done it. So, let me just view this post in another window. And that's what we got so far. Let's close that off. Okay, so as you can see, um, nothing much happening. Oh, there you go. Pop, wham, shabow. It's only $12.96 as a light. $12.16, guys. Um, Saw from WordPress plugin, $12.00. I don't know if you can get better than that. Um, further down, I've got another few things happening. I've got this, then two seconds later this, and then two seconds later this. Yeah, looking good, huh? Now, um, I've got three in the post because I want to show you different things. Uh, uh, I'll show you exactly how I did those in a second. Let me just go to edit this post. Okay, I'm going to re-save this as draft. Because I think, or you think, okay, if I view it now, we shouldn't have that little jumpy up and down one at the bottom. And I can show you how I add that in. Okay, so no images there, we've got the this is called the Tada, and this is called the Swing, I think, going on there. But I'm going to put an image in here with a bounce. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to go to Posts. This is another fantastic plugin I'm going to use here, but you can just insert image views or ways. I'm going to go to Pro Affiliate Ultimate Graphics. And I want to add a buy now or something like that in red. No, not, I don't want to add that. Let's have um, add to cart. Mm, yeah, I'm liking that. Whatever comments they got. I'm liking that. We'll do this one. We'll add this one here, yeah? So it's got a copy of my code here. I'll do another post about that plugin I'm using right now because it's wicked. Paste that in there. The link I'm going to use is the same as that link there. So I'll paste my link in. And if I save that as a draft, you'll see that there's no actual action on that image, but the image is there. And then I'll show you how to make the image pop with. So from WordPress plugin. Okay, so just refresh the page. And at the bottom, orange by to cart. Not much happening. So let's go back to the posts. And as well as the saw from plugin here, what it also adds are Saw thumb and the target. Now the saw thumb, you just highlight what you want to, whatever you want to have an element effect on. Press saw thumb and choose your element. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I bet you this time next year this is doubled. There'll be loads more elements allowed. So flash bounce. I think bounce is quite cool. So I have a bounce there. 
and where is it? Here it is. I could, it's, it says on delay at present with the others, but I could enable an in content trigger. So, for, oh, wrong one. Well, so for when it scrolls, so when the user, for instance, scrolls past price and re re reveals this, then I can start the bounce going. So I could have in content trigger and then I just do this. I just press or highlight, shall I say, price, have that as a trigger, and that's it. I'm set. I'm done. Now, you're supposed to be able to see a red dash box around the triggers and a blue dash box, whatever colors around the other stuff, but I can only get it to work half the time, like I said. Um, Saw Thumb WordPress plugin, it's a WSO at $12. You expect a few bugs, hence it's a WSO. They can iron them out before they launch it. Now, if you look in the HTML view, if I go down to oh, price, which is where? Here, price. You see, strong price there. I've got a span ID trigger. Hmm. Should say bounce there, but we'll see what happens. I mean, like I'm an expert. Anyway, um, so I'm going to save the draft. Oh, it triggers the action is bounce. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so if I go to here again, before I refresh it, as I scroll down the page, when it gets to price, it will trigger the add to cart bouncing. These two are set on delay, so one starts, two seconds later, the other one starts. But this one's going to be set on the trigger action in the actual post. So you can do loads of great things here, guys. I'm telling you, it's absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, let's just refresh this page and you can see the action. Okay, so... As we scroll down, as price hits the top of the browser, see, we should see a jump. Ah, mm, see, see how you learn as you swing by your pants. I don't know how yet to configure this, but I'm going to set them all to delay, so you'll see delay at the same time, and then I'm going to save it, I'm sure there is a way to do it, and while I was talking about um, the triggers in the top view, bottom view, middle view of the, of the browser, anyway, um, I'm going to do the delay again, so it'll be 222, two, two. exit triggers as well as, as you can see there, and I'm going to update that. I remember seeing that you can set different delays in, in um, Brennan's uh, 19 minute long training video, but of course I'd, I'd pay little attention to that and um, have forgotten how to do it. So I'll show you the bouncy bounces, two second delays. So there we go, first one will go, ding dong. And the second one, ding dong, ding dong. There you go, peeps. Um, that's how awesome the soul thumb is. Bring attention to your call to action. Um, you're gonna love this, and at the price you shouldn't you shouldn't even hesitate. Cheers. Thanks for listening. Watching rated by Tony.